Hey, what's up? This is Jerobi White from A Tribe Called Quest, from Evertan, and a really good chef. Yeah, I was in a rap group called Tribe Called Quest. We started the group in the late 80s. Um, made a lot of nice songs. Um, along with doing that, I also went to culinary school, became a chef. Well, I've always wanted to do both. You know, I always wanted to cook and do music as well. Um, I wouldn't say I left the group, but I just uh, focused my attention on, on cooking. You know, um, something I always wanted to do, a passion I always wanted to do, and I knew that afterwards, after the music stopped, that I would need something to do, and so I figured that uh, I'll become a chef. I'm, you know, I'm really happy that I did it. You know, I didn't feel any, uh, I don't have any regrets about not doing music anymore and focusing on cooking at all. No regrets. I've had a lot, a lot of fun doing both. I um, moved into Queens from the Bronx in New York um, around 11 or 12 years old. I met Fife, um, he was my neighbor, he lived maybe like literally around the corner. Um, I used to go to basketball courts, play basketball, and play video games, and um, uh, I didn't necessarily like Fife at first, you know what I mean? I thought he was a big mouth, and me coming from the Bronx, which was a rougher neighborhood, I was like, oh, these kids are soft, blah, blah, blah. So um, one day, I was playing video games, and a mutual friend of ours, he knew that we would be cool with each other, he just like kind of put us in the same area at the same time, and kind of backed away out of the situation, and we started having a conversation with each other, not knowing that we were talking to each other. And I happened to look up and I see I was talking to Fife, and I'm like, oh, man, what's up, kid? He's like, yeah, what's up? So we became friends after that, you know? He's like, oh, you wanna go play some basketball? I'm like, yeah, let's go play some basketball. So we go to the basketball court, play basketball. He's like, yeah, I rap. I was like, really? I do the beatbox. He's like, for real, let me hear. So I do the beatbox, he starts rhyming. We're like, oh, wow, that's dope, you're dope. Yeah, you're dope, too. He's like, yo, my homeboy, my homeboy, he raps too. I'm like, really? So like, let's go meet him. So he took me around the neighborhood to go meet uh, Tip. So we walk Hello. into this gymnasium, and I go and see this guy shooting foul shots. These long, <laughs> these are very long arms, and it turns out to be Q-Tip. So we start talking and stuff like that, and we just became friends. You know, a couple of months down the line. You know, everybody's like, yeah, you know, we should really try to make records. We're like, yeah, that would be cool, you know, because when Do see it just came out with a record, I think we were maybe, I think I was maybe 12 or 13 at the time. So we started making demos, and we started trying to <laughs> try to get into the music business at 14, which, you know, and it took a couple of years, but then we finally got signed by Jive, and we became a Tribe Called Quest. I said you gotta put me on, but he